Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to another Truth For Today. I'm Pastor Mike, coming to you from the Lighthouse Baptist Church here in Seagrove. We hope today's devotion finds you doing very well. We're taking our reading today from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 5 and verse number 14. And Paul makes a statement there that I think really is foundational for the Christian in their living and in their practice. He says this, For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. I, I want to deal with the first part of verse 14 because I think it's extremely valuable. When he says that the love of Christ constraineth us, let's try to get a mental picture of what he's talking about. The word constrain means to hold back. And really what Paul is communicating here is this, that the thing that's going to be a major player or variable in the life of a believer as far as keeping us on the right track and keeping us out of things that will be detrimental to our faith is what constrains us. And Paul is make, Paul's been making a case here for genuine faith, genuine salvation, and so forth and so on. And when he says the love of Christ constraineth us, what he is saying is this. Look, I'm saved, I'm justified, and nothing I do can change that. So what keeps me from getting back into sin is the love of Christ. Christ's love for me, what He's done on the cross for my sins, how that He has made provision in my life, the fact that He would enter back into a relationship with us after the fall in the garden. I mean, it's just how God has loved me causes me not to want to do those things which hinders our fellowship, sin. And so can I say that one of the greatest motivators in life for anybody is love? You know, think about it. It's love that causes a, a woman to desire to bring children into the world so much that she'll go to the edge of death to do that. Her love for her future children. It's love that will cause a man to lay his life down for his country. Love is a powerful thing. And so Paul says, it's the love of Christ that constrains me. Can I say that makes a very happy Christian life? As a matter of fact, I want to say this. If you ever get the place where as a believer, you look at the thou shalt nots in the Bible that as measures of protection and that God has put them there because he loves you, then abiding by them or walking in them is not bondage. It's not, it's not hard because you, you look at it and say, Okay, God told me not to do that because he loves me. He wants to fellowship with me. He doesn't want sin to get back in my life and, and calls me the sorrow that comes with it. And so can I say for you and I, one of the greatest measuring sticks of, of how successful we are walking our Christian life, uh, executing the, the plan and, and, and the will of God for our lives, is our love. If I love him, Man, it's a joyful ride. It's a joyful experience. I'm not always complaining or grumbling or pressing the line on what I can't do, but I'm just thankful that God has been so good to me. And it's my love that constrains me. I want to say this. God should not have to do a whole lot of holding us back and chasing us forward playing with sin. His love's been so good to us. It ought to hold us back from taking part in those things that are not going to be profitable at all. So, this from Paul is a great challenge to all of us to ask ourselves the question, do I love God enough just to live right and do right? And hopefully the answer is yeah, because it's the love of God, Paul said, that constrained him. Hope today's devotion will encourage your hearts, lift your spirits, maybe give you a little, a little meaning, a little reason why to do the right thing. And as always, may the Lord richly bless you today is our prayer.